नमस्ते फ्रेंड्स दिस इज सिद्धार्थ वेलकम टू आर्ट एंड टैरो सो वी आर मेकिंग टैरो वीडियोस एंड टुडे वी गोना टॉक अबाउट द सेवन ऑफ कप्स अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग कार्ड ओके फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट मी शेयर यू माय लोकेशन आई एम इन थाईलैंड सो वेन एवर आई कम हेयर इट्स ऑलवेज so refreshing to be here the people the food the you know visiting the different places in thailand it's always so good i would recommend you if you have not traveled yet to thailand <laughs> okay back to the card seven of cups so seven of cups is one of the mysterious cards of tarot we see a black figure like a shadow trying to find its way in the dark or if you see like there are seven cups in the cloud <clears throat> so the whenever you see the cloud the cloud signify you know like the person is thinking there are like these thoughts which are going on or something which is not so real something which is uh, which you can't just grab it it's not really in front of you it's it's like in the air it's like going inside your mind so what we see here is like seven cups and on each cup there are like different items you can actually see we see like a head of a woman a beautiful woman we see a snake we see a castle we see jewelry we see victory we see dragon we see someone with a mask thing like which which basically means you know we don't know what is going to come up so this man this shadow is you who is like dreaming or who is just manipulating in his mind what is best for him so there are these choices which are in front of you right now which you have to choose from and uh, whenever this card is coming for you it basically is telling you to make the right decision and if your decision is wrong and mind it you know because it's is shadow like it's like shown the back it is not really visible you know like it's it's as if your shadow is choosing for yourself you are not really choosing for yourself so if your shadow is choosing for yourself we can't really know you know like your shadow is going to choose the right thing for you or not your shadow might choose a snake your shadow might choose a dragon or it might lead you to trouble and of course your shadow might choose castle jewelry victory or a beautiful woman anything is possible but in conclusion the whatever choice is going to make in this card it is unpredictable it is we can't really sure you know what is going to come out so the conclusion of the card is you know whenever you get this card the real message behind this card is try not to choose for yourself try not to just grab things you know whatever you think is right for you you know there are these things which you have to understand you know my master one of my teacher you know he always used to you know tell me this you know he used to ask me this okay tell me you know like if if god appears in front of you and if he ask you that what do you want and he's ready to grant your wishes what is good what are you going to ask and i know most of you are going to have this clear picture inside of your head you know like i'm going to ask a lot of money i'm going to ask that beautiful woman i'm going to ask that car like all this is going inside of you but you know this was also going on in my head you know at that time but when my master asked me when my teacher asked me this you know i could not really tell him you know like what actually i want and i was blank at that time and uh, since i was blank my teacher said you know you must be thinking you want money women 
or a big house for yourself, things like that, I guess. I said, yeah, this is what I'm like thinking inside. But I'm not very sure, you know, what really I should tell you. You know what he said? He said, whenever God comes in front of you and if he asks you, what do you want? You know what he said? He said, you leave it to him. You tell him, you give me whatever is best for me. I'm not going to choose for myself because I'm just a shadow. I don't know whether I'm going to choose the right thing for myself. So this is the card which is telling you exactly the same thing what my teacher told me. Like not to choose for yourself. Instead, you know, put it on him. What is best for you? Give me whatever is best for me. This is what the card is saying. So when it comes to love and relationship, this card gives you a message that Do not jump on that woman or that man which you are, which is in front of you. Give it time. Give it a little time. And because, you know, this woman might say to you or this man might say to you, you know, marry me or, you know, like, I want to have a relationship or I want to have a children or whatever. The card tells you to wait, not to jump to a conclusion let the time decide what is best for you okay when it comes to business job career money it's basically saying just hold your horses be there don't go anywhere don't put your money don't change your job just be there just hold on for a while let the clouds disappear so that you can make a clear choice so this was my interpretation for the seven of cups i hope you like the video do like and comment share and subscribe i will see you in my next video namaste